And Abba Joy Burnett also live tonight in Washington, D.C., right now near the U.S. Capitol. Yeah, she has a reaction from members of the Maryland congressional delegation about what happened in Congress yesterday. Abba Joy. Good evening, guys. When protesters breached the walls here at the U.S. Capitol yesterday, hundreds of lawmakers were inside, including members of the Maryland delegation. Earlier today, we spoke with a sole Republican and Democrat about what it was like when they were inside yesterday. Here's what they had to say. It was uh, eye opening. It was uh, tragic. One day after the World Watch protesters rushed the U.S. Capitol, broke into windows, and breached what was thought to be one of the most secure buildings in the country, Maryland lawmakers who were inside are reacting about what happened. Senator Ben Cardin said it was tense. Quite frankly, I, we could not believe it. We, we had a hard time understanding how uh, people could get inside the Capitol and really. Compromise our symbol of democracy. Thousands of President Trump supporters traveled to Washington, D.C. for a rally where the president spoke. Happy to not be in fear for what we're wearing and not, and not to be afraid of being spit on or mocked or attacked. USA! USA! Some protesters marched to the Capitol after the president encouraged them to do so. Maryland's sole Republican in Capitol Hill, Representative Andy Harris, said the president should not be blamed for the illegal actions of some. Nearly having a protest that ends up on the Capitol grounds happens all the time. So the president calling to go to the Capitol grounds. We do that at the March for Life every single year. Today, security is visibly ramped up around the Capitol and along the mall. Barriers were torn down Wednesday, but less than 24 hours later, they were up again around the nation's seat of power. I don't think our nation is immune to anything. The only thing that makes our nation worth living in are the individuals and the people and the communities. Coming up in WJZ at 5.30, we spoke with the lawmakers earlier today about what they think about talks about invoking the 25th Amendment. There are some people who are questioning the president's ability to lead. We have that part of the story coming up. Live at 5, Abba Joy Burnett for WJZ.